Hello, beautiful morning to you. Welcome to Good Morning Anambra. It's another beautiful Thursday morning, and uh, as usual, we begin with newspaper headlines. Welcome. I am David Opopasele. Chidema is also here with me this morning. Yes, good morning, Indiana and Brian. Welcome to uh, Breakfast TV show this morning. The beautiful first thing morning, and we're here to treat you to today's edition of the show. You are welcome. And it seems we agreed on a blue this morning. Yeah, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> right. We also have Engineer Anthony and Abe to join us to review the papers. Engineer, welcome. Thank you very much, Dan Ambara. We do the room. All right. We'll run now with um, ABS website. On ABS website, we have Anambra State Government declares state of emergency in waste management and environment. Anambra Government inaugurates state tax force on immunization. House a committee in Anambra lords Obiano on security. Anambra Environment Ministry launches environment, Environmental Action Plan, Dobe Anambra Ocha. Those are the stories that we have on ABS website. We still have other stories there, other trending stories, videos, and um, other videos you can also comment and be part of the discussions. But for now, let's look at these main stories that we have here. All right, uh, we are seeing the... Anambra State Government declares state of emergency in waste management and environment. It's also linked to the last story. The Anambra Environment Ministry launches environmental action plan, Dobe Anambra. Uh, how do you foresee this uh, state of emergency coming at this time? Well, um, thank you very much. The, actually, I also want to allow the Anambra State Government for the a state of emergency declared on waste management mm. and the environment. Um, incidentally, Ndibo actually, uh, before now, you can understand that we have a series of ways by which we keep our environment clean. When I was uh, small, when I was young, we used to sweep the village square. After I might swept your compound, the way to stream, we are also taken care of by the ladies. We, the young men, young boys, we clean the village square and the rest of them. And we have what we call uh, Ogugu, uh, which invariably happened to be a pit through which, uh, from which the, the earth was moved to build a house. You now have an opening where people now, where the family will dump their waste. Today, and the environment, uh, what we now have in each place is what we call them. Um, waste paper, uh, waste uh, uh, dustbin, which most families do not have in their houses. Uh, the one that is very, very pathetic now is where the food sellers, hotelers, somebody will now wash the, the, the plates, the wares he used to serve people, and then instead of having a cesspit where he will pour the dirty water, he will invariably move onto the street and, and pour it. This, 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 this water, this waste water is an eyesore. Because most times you will come to the street, you see the, the pieces of bone, uh, unfinished gare, uh, apple, and the rest of them, oil on, on top of the road. Which is very bad. And um, it's better that somebody should have a place where you collect your sludge water, your waste water. Not to pour it on the road. So, and then you talk of this... Uh, Take away uh, parts. parts. You eat uh, beans, roasted, plantain, this and this. You just flick off the the pack on the road. So, is um, I would have, I would, I want to thank Anambra State Government, uh, Governor Bianov, on that very particular. Thing. And then let's follow it up with people that will actually arrest these people at all times. Okay, but, but, yes, but what do you perfect. think the culture of cleanliness for which an average Igbo man is known for seems to have reduced? I don't know which culture of Igbo man is still surviving. 
Mm. Because, um, I don't, in fact, almost all that we are known for have been eroded by what we can call the, conve uh, the conventions. Initially, before we don't have this issue of cellophane bag, team bag, this takeaway pack, and the rest of them, what you have is the which actually putrefy. If you drop it up sometime, they will decay. But these ones will continue to, to stay for even at, at leaving the person that they drop it. Mm. So, but what is the question, like, like the question you asked, something has to be done. Because when you throw away or when you drop a culture, you pick another one. That one you pick, you must have to look at it and see, well, does it really satisfy my, 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 my yearning as a human being? So, I want to call on our people, because we may not really say, let's go back to the period of Africa. AG, uh, my my and the rest. Maybe we have gone to packaging it in a in a more refined way. Mm -hmm. But there must be a way to deal with the, the fallout of this uh, new new new, the, new civilization. Yeah. Right. And that is what is called that is where the environmental management comes in. And um, I'm also calling on the government to look at the environmental health officers, look at their their, their package, look at the employment procedure, look at how they are employed. Uh, some are uh, sent to school at um, school of health technology where they do environmental courses and then come back. How many are they, are they still in the offices? You get the point? You have the smaller ones. You can go to offices. You see where you have only the senior, senior officers that are there, above them, the level 10. So let's see how we can uh, bootstress the offices of environmental health officers so that they will be on the street and be doing what they are known for. Okay, I think we, uh, we're going to move on over to our next paper, the Daily Sun. And then it's on the big story there. He was arrested. Federal government suspends uh, headsman settlement program and uh, commendation interested states now to present development plan. Up there we can see sex toy shop scandal. Senator Abel agrees and apologizes. And then the refs on the street opera at the matter named in the middle. Minority leaders. PDP APC members battle for me. A basic fires eight commissioners as courts bars APC plea others over assembly crisis. And over of Benin seeks Buhari's intervention in a basic for Shimone's brief. Remove fuel subsidy, US tells federal government. Then uh, late issues Anglican Church over amendments for Canada. All right, the big story, Ruga arrested. Federal government has been settlement program and the commendation. Mm, well, thank, um, my own take on this issue of Ruga is that um, uh, cattle rearing is an individual business. The way the federal government is handling it, it looks like it's a national uh, uh, investment uh, policy or program. Uh, it's a uh, um, it's a form of an agriculture. It's a form of um, yes, agriculture where you have so many other aspects of uh, agriculture. You have fish farming, you have um, even pig rearing, you have a lot of them. Why are we taking much time on, 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 on cattle and thereby making it even a federal government uh, affair? If government is to take care of all aspects of our agricultural uh, activities this way, I don't know. Snail farmers will also have settlement. Eh? Uh, uh, fish farmers will also have federal government uh, uh, interest. But this particular issue has caused Nigeria a lot of a lot of problem uh, for this fa pa uh, past five years or thereabout. Please, my advice is that government should allow farmers to do their own. Their own. Let, let every farmer be treated equally, and not just cattle rearers. On the issue of the menace coming out of this very area, in other countries, let's look at what other countries do have in their own cattle handling. Anybody that wants to start cattle business should seek a place and buy the land and invest. It's a personal investment. I can also equally take a trailer to Kanu and buy cattle, put it in my own ranch and, and well, train them. Um, and then come out and sell them the way and they should not be seen on the street molesting people the, uh, like we talk about this environment mm. any time a, a head of cattle pass through your street come out and see what happens there you see their droppings their streets everywhere 
Is this not also an envir environmental issue? So, you hope we are, in traditional Igbo society, we have a way to, of dealing with stray animals. They try the customary law has a way of dealing with stray animals. In, in our olden days, animals are not allowed. Domestic animals are not allowed to, to roam around anyhow. And enter farms and, and destroy. And enter farms and destroy other people's, other people's agricultural life. Now, I, I want to ask, what does it seem as if uh, adopting this ranching model is becoming difficult? I know that California and U.S., uh, one of the biggest cities, one of the biggest economies of the United States, and in, in fact, across the world, um, most of what they use or most of the thing that finance the economy to date is animal ranching, especially cows. Why is it difficult to have this ranching model in Nigeria? I think the problem is selfishness. Most of the people who own these cattle are gov those that are in government. The, 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 the ministers, even their governors and the rest of them. As, uh, as any of them come out with his or her own view, you will know where the person is coming from. All these people you see on the streets are not the owners of this cattle. They are owned by those politicians. And when they you see, it's just like somebody who is running a filling station. When you're now getting to a government, you want to use the, the, the facility, you want to use the, the government largesse to support your business. So this thing is becoming a problem because those people who own this, uh, this uh, cattle are in government and they want to use government cover to cover their, uh, to buttress their business. And that is why they are trying to hide, use government uh, uh, funding to take, because if in an any decent society, you cannot allow cat animal to be roaming around and destroying other people's interests. All right, let's, let's run now to daily time so that we don't spend much time on them. I think the, the message has been passed. Uga said to Mambuari order suspension of scheme. Uh, we have a rider there as Ohanese rejects programming in Ebolans, warns uh, monarchs and PGs. Reps in near fisticuffs over principal officers' positions. Finally, Nigeria agrees to sign uh, AFCFTA, that's an uh, African Free Trade Agreement. Oba of Benin begin, begs Buari to intervene in Obaseki Ochomole feud. Maritime workers strike, maritime workers strike continue as talks yield negative results. Those are the major stories. Presidential Tribunal dismisses article PDP's motion to reopen APC objection. Those are the stories that we have on the front page of the Daily Times. All right, now let's uh, also take uh, the punch newspaper so that we can see mm. it. All right, uh, the banner had nine reactions as Buari bows to pressure to spread to Ruga. This arm headsman, Ohaneza, tells federal government suspension and uh, meant to buy time at Fenifere and Pandev. And then up there, you can see your passenger promised uh, a Fenifere AD governor restructuring in second term, Usuba. My government's performance in power supply, not to be the north, to worry. Then down there, we can see reps in round the session, PDP Kekos, Kip, Sleep, Chinda, and Melo emerge as factional leaders. Uh, you weren't once killing of Nigerians, all the sea will be approved. Lagos community cries as a flood chase, as flood chases out residents. Federal government releases a vision list of 104 community schools. Uh, National Assembly flames the letter for slapping Nessun Mother, IG, or the Sprout. And the uh, other spirit is there. Uh, 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 let's talk about this one. This uh, senator that uh, slapped the Nessun Mother at the shop. Now, the IG of police is ordering for his probe. So, what's your take on that? Um, I think we have to even go down to the basics mm -hmm. of um, what we regard as human rights observance of human rights in this country. Um, this is coming, this particular incident didn't happen today. Mm. Actually, it might have been captured by the... It happened on the yes, it might have been, it was captured on the camera and um, I wouldn't know how the person that finally pushed into the social media did it. But um, you can, this, you can just, this is just a, a, a fraction of how our society goes. A lot of people's rights have been, are, are being dealt with in this country, especially by those who are in government. You get the point. Outside those in government, ordinarily, 
uh, we live in a site where we can widely describe it as Akakakabajiaka, where you are intimidated, you are roughened, and nobody comes to your rescue. You can remember that this actually, like you say, happened some months back, and it didn't come out. The person did not report, did not call police, even if he calls police, even if she calls police. There was a policeman. Good, that's, the, that's, where, that's where I'm coming in from. Mm -hmm. Even if she calls police, police will come there and say another policeman there, and the whole thing will just die down. I'm trying to look at the suppression of the rights of people, not just whether it's a woman or a man. Yeah. In this society, you see uh, uh, government come for drive, drive, driving people out of the road like in fact some even carry whip exactly to flog, flog people out of the way so that probably a, 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 a servant of the people will pass the servant of the people and it's not that it's rushing for any emergency it's just to show you that it's passing yeah, so I'm, what i'm looking I'm, what i'm looking at is not just on this issue of a senator slapping a most innocent mother i am looking at it from the angle of the the, 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 the failure of the system to protect the weak. Because we are living in a society where it's only the strong that survive. That's why I call it Akaka Akaba Jiaka. Let us find a way to make sure, one, that the system protects the weak. Two, that you, who is also the weak, is uh, intelligent, learned, and informed enough to know what to do when something like that happens. Because in other societies, something like this cannot happen, and that person will not. I remember what happened. There was a footage of a, of a man who, I think, he either stepped on a kid on a, on a supermarket and he couldn't even say sorry. I don't know whether you, you watched that. And the, how, the parents insisted, and even the shop owner called the police to force the, the lady to apologize to, to that girl. In Nigeria today, who, which shop owner will even come to your rescue? One of his major customers. Customers, and uh, you, you want to drive away my customer, please live here. So the point I'm looking at is, how do we actually protect and defend the rights of the weak? So that uh, you, 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 it's not just a society where the, 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 the powerful moves around and intimidates everybody. Unfortunately, the young man, uh, the senator has apologized. It's left for the law to actually take a course because apology may not be enough. Apology doesn't answer in court, actually. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Anthony Anebo, for joining us on the show this morning and showing that we have a society where people are not intimidated the way um, anybody feels he can do that. Uh, thank you once again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Look very charming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's how we'll go on. Uh, this segment press review this morning stay with us as we look at uh, our major theme for the day <laughs>